What's good, Tim? Welcome back, boss chicks. Welcome back to another one. Today, I am doing my daughter's nails. You heard her in the last video doing the voiceover for the Joy T uh, gel nail polish. So we're going to be doing a full cover of play dupe method. And if you're not familiar with the play method, it is a full cover gel nail. Um, it's already it's thicker than your standard tips so it's um, they're already built so but basically um, that that system actually costs a lot of money real talk so I'm doing a dupe so I start by pushing back her cuticles and then going in with my uh, flame ceramic nail drill bit and she hasn't had a manicure or any type of nail service in a while because I've been pretty busy but that's okay we're gonna get it done today um, so you're gonna see me go in and clip her nails uh, I mean clip her cuticles I really hate clipping cuticles because like I don't want to clip too much but I also want to make sure I do clip enough that you know the nails are not going to lift so but since it's been a while since she had any type of service done her cuticles um, were pretty difficult to remove so I went back in with um, some cuticle remover and then I didn't show um, the whole process of that for the sake of time I'm only going to be doing one of her nails but this is how I prep for any nail service that I'm going to do whether it be acrylics um, the full cover method or gel um, so oh I also did not show me removing the shine from her nails so I've included some information on screen so that you guys are aware of what's going on but um so the full cover method um the a prey nails or um like hard tips because they're made out of gel and they are all done this way you still prep your uh, natural nail the same way start by uh, pushing back the cuticles removing the shine from the natural nail dehydrating the nail and then priming the nail so you see me right here um, I didn't show that part as I mentioned before after I do remove the shine from the natural nail I go ahead and I uh, use the young nail swipe to dehydrate the nail and then I go in with two coats of protein bond um, I use the protein bond it is amazing ever since I switched over to the young nails protein bond I've not had any lifting and I'm an extreme lifter on my nails and my nails last but I wanted to show um, everyone her nails um, she's a teenager of course and I seen this debate on uh, Facebook it's like when is it an appropriate time for teenagers to start wearing nails um, I think if they're mature enough to wear them and they're not long like extremely long you know then it's okay and it also kind of depends on the shape of the nail since she's out of school I'm allowing her to wear her nails a little bit longer because she's not in school um, right now with the current crisis that's going on um, but let me jump here so you can understand what's going on here I showed you a picture of the model one's base coat gel you can use any base coat gel that you have I like the model one's base coat gel I apply that to the nail to the natural nail and then I apply a little bit to the tip of the nail that I'm putting on and then I start at the cuticle area by um, laying the cuticle area um, down first as you can see me doing here and then slowly uh, pushing it down to make sure there's no air bubbles you want to be sure that there are no air bubbles when you do this because if it is then the nails will lift this method lasts 
just like your acrylics and your gel if you get any excess gel on the side walls or the cuticle be sure to get that up you don't want it to dry because if you don't get that up um, and then you turn on either that mini flash lamp or cure it in the big lamp it will burn the skin after I do that what I like to do is to go ahead and cure it in the lamp for a full 60 seconds and then I didn't show me clipping down the nails I didn't leave them as long as they were I used the 150 grit sanding band to remove the shine from the nail tips because it allows the acrylic to adhere a little bit better. In my experience, I did it without, you know, removing the shine from the tips and the acrylic just slid all over the nail. It was a mess. So I, you know, prefer to do it this way. The reason why I call this a, a pre dupe method is because you're a, a regular a pre gel x system those nails are made of gel and these are standard tips so they're not as thick so what i'm going to do is to go over these nails with some acrylic i will be using my mia secret clear acrylic i'm going to start by applying a small bead of acrylic to the nail to um have a surface for the flames to stick on and if you watch the joy t video she was talking about that she wanted some flame nails so i started by uh, doing that small bead of clear acrylic so that these flames have something to stick to i'm also going to be doing um i'm going to be using uh, my glam and glitz first impression and then I have like some little circle colorful pieces. She told me to go ahead and, you know, do whatever came to mind and just let me design it as long as the nails included the flames. She was okay with that. So you're going to see me um, applying the flames. The, they're stickers, but I'm going to go ahead and encapsulate everything. Um, I did notice though you try try and keep it as thin as possible or uh, i had a lot of fouling to do i didn't include the fouling in this video um, but i had to file down her thumb because i applied that clear acrylic a little too thick and um yeah so that happened so you see me applying the flames anything that's hanging over um, on the nail you want to be sure that you clip it off because it needs to be fully encapsulated if not then the nail is going to lift or that design is going to come out of the nail and we certainly don't want that so anything that's hanging over be sure to clip that down okay here's that glam and glitz first impression pink i was trying to go for like an ombre look where i wanted it to be pink uh, back on the ned bell area and then kind of fading down to those um circle design pieces and i thought that that would be cute so yeah you can see me um applying a small bead um, I recommend if you are a beginner and I st I'm still a beginner and I would recommend you practicing nails every single day <laughs> literally practice every day it seems like that if you don't practice every day what happens is it's like doing acrylics and everything is all muscle memory so um, yeah like my beads were not perfect or anything like that 
um, I only included me doing one of her hands um, in this video um, again because to save time and I didn't want the video to be extremely long um, but you'll see me going in and applying um, the beads of pink and then applying um, the I, I don't know they look like confetti I'm not sure if that's like confetti or something like that but some of these uh, nails turn out great the beads were consistent oh and I forgot to mention I'm using my Panna I think I'm using the number 12 brush I have uh, two no maybe three of those type of brushes one's a size 8 one's a 10 and one's a 12 but I believe I was using a size 12 on this um, but when I get to um, the ending part of this video you guys are gonna see that on her pinky I did not do enough of that pink color and when I went in to file it made the pink color uh, turn out patchy um, so what I did was added some bling to kind of cover up my mistake you know what I mean so yeah the whole purpose in doing nails it should be fun um, I know a lot of you know the videos that you see uh, everything just looks like it's perfect no that's just editing I don't like to take out my mistakes because I think people need to understand that it's okay to make mistakes and you are to learn from them I've been doing nails full-time since I believe October so I still have a lot to learn and I love doing nails so it's supposed to make it fun and I also wanted to include this but here you see me encapsulating uh, the nail with clear and I'm trying to make sure that I encapsulate that uh, pink as well as the um, confetti looking pieces um, on the flame now you'll you can tell when you have everything encapsulated because it's gonna turn dull it won't be that nice shiny color that you see so you'll be able to tell whether or not if you have everything encapsulated correctly I don't do um, like um, the one ball method the two ball method nor the three ball method what I like to do is to do the nails and then look at the nails from all different angles to be sure that I have enough coverage when it comes to acrylic sometimes I will use more sometimes I would use less the biggest uh, takeaway and the biggest key to doing nails is you're don't do it like anybody else you have to do what works for you and that's important that you remember that um, it's not about um, who does it the best or anything like that nails is just like any other thing it is art and it is a form of expression the designs and things that the technicians come up with um, is a form of their own expression and their creativity I think uh, a lot of people get judged a lot based off of their own creative thing and they're like oh you don't do nails like so and so or or anything like that the whole thing is be sure that you're keeping uh, safe and that you sanitize properly and you do know what you're doing so kind of going back to that conversation that we had just earlier about whether or not if teenagers or you know like how old they should be when they start getting their nails done again all maturity level she's very mature honor roll student and everything and she knows the importance I don't just as long as you don't get too vain with it then I don't see a problem with doing that plus an extra bonus is I get the practice on a human hand <laughs> did you guys vote on my video the red iguana remember I did the open box video and I said to vote and um, in the cards there was um, a poll for you guys to vote on whether or not uh, what her name should be should have been uh, Nishay 
or Nicole. Some of you guys voted, but not everybody voted. But that's okay. If you haven't, go back, watch that video. I'll leave it in the description box below. Or you can just click my click my channel name. And you can just watch all the videos. Whatever you feel. You're at home. You're not doing anything. No, I'm kidding. Maybe you are. Maybe you're not. But either way, I'm glad you're here. And I didn't mention this in the beginning. I should have said. I said welcome back. But I should have said hello to all my newbies. I hope you guys stick around. Um, yeah. I am not used to this whole YouTube thing. Voiceovers and all of that. Um, but I promise to try to be as entertaining as possible. So look. Here's the nail that I was talking about. It being um, a little too thick. So I'm going to have to do a lot of fouling on this. To take it down a tad bit but her nails turned out very pretty so I'm happy for that um, but I'm gonna keep practicing um, I you can't really expect to get something like this overnight with the uh, acrylic it's the whole liquid to powder ratio and picking up the right size bead and so on and so forth but if you're not inspiring to be uh, a nail artist or anything like that I'll do my best to include all the information if you have any additional questions or anything like that go ahead and comment uh, on the video I check my comments and I will respond not a problem okay right yeah so this is fun I suppose I don't know guys look it's late where I am look on another note doing this YouTube stuff is pretty darn hard I don't think people give youtubers enough credit this stuff is hard you're doing the videos you're editing them down you're trying to remember what happened and then you're trying to narrate it back it is so weird um, if my house was not so rowdy I probably would not have to do voiceovers <laughs> no they're not that rowdy but it they do get loud everybody's excited and and that's okay and we're trying to keep our mind off the current events of things so yeah I did not include the filing and shaping and buffing in this video if you guys want to see my filing shaping and buffing routine go ahead and leave a comment down below and i will do a detailed video on fouling and shaping the nails but here as you can see this is the nail i was talking about where there's patchiness of that pink yeah i didn't go in um with enough pink there um i think this is my first time using the first impressions um by glam and glitz so but that's okay we're gonna put some bling on it throw some bling on it <laughs> anyway i don't know i think i'm bored i'm tired at the end of this video i'm going to include a clip um no not a clip sorry a picture of what her nails look like um so you can guys can see how they turn out and if you have not guys go ahead subscribe hit that bell be sure to turn on the post notifications because I, I will love to have you back um yeah that's pretty much it but as always links to every product that i use will be in the description box below so don't forget to check the description box be sure to like comment and subscribe and i will do another one and another one I'll be back again and again and as always stay safe stay healthy and be blessed